Let's talk about the differences between the LARP's Ant Guard and Dyer here. But before we do, make sure you give me a follow and put all your LARP questions down below. So let's start with the weapon construction differences between the two games. Uh, both are boffer games, both use foam swords, foam shields. Amp Guard does not have a limit on the weight of your weapons. Most Amp Guard sticks and swords come in around that six to eight ounce mark. Where Dagger here has a limit on, or has a max, a minimum weight for all of their swords, which is 12 ounces. Generally between 12 and 14 is what you'll see most often. Uh, because of this though, you do get some people who say that there's a difference between the, the combat and the game because Amp Guard is a little bit more uh, speedy, it's a little bit more taggy, where Dagger here is a more harder hitting game. Uh, I've been playing both games for about 10 years and I think that overall that is just a false narrative. Uh, I fight the same at both games. Uh, I've been playing both games for a long time. My hits at Amp Guard are hard enough hits for where they would be counted at Dagger here. My Dagger here hits are not too hard for Amp Guard. I fight the same both ways, but the sticks do weigh a little bit different. Most of the time, a general rule of thumb, your DAG weapons will be legal at Amp Guard, with the exception of half bats, and generally the stab only poles aren't legal uh, or half bats aren't. Amp Guard, almost none of your stuff is going to be legal, except some of your longer war poles might be legal, but none of your sticks are going to be legal if you're going from Amp Guard to Dagger here. Most of the weapon construction is the same, it's a lot of the same foam, uh, just added a little bit more weight. So one of the bigger differences between Amp Guard and Dagger here, both Boffer LARPs, are the arrow construction tech and the, the different rules that you have for using those bow and arrows. So the Dagger here, in general, will have a fluffier arrow. Uh, they are larger, they're more square, they require more foam on them than the Amp Guard arrows, which tend to be a little bit slimmer, a little bit smaller, and uh, Amp Guard arrows will oftentimes just have like a ball on the end of it, like a gamma ball type thing, where Dag and Belgarth also have the squishier arrowheads. The reason for this, in Dag, you are allowed to shoot people in the face with your arrows, so they have to be a little bit more uh, cushiony, a little bit more friendly. Where Amp Guard, you're not allowed to shoot people in the face at all, and because of that, theirs tend to go a little further, be a little faster, hit a little harder harder. Uh, but the difference between the arrows, really dagger here arrows are significantly more friendly. I would much rather be hit with dag arrows all day long, even if it's in the face. By far, in my opinion, the most unsafe part of Amp Guard are the arrows. I have had two injuries in Amp Guard in 10 years, 11 years of playing, both of which have been related to arrows. I uh, never had a single issue with dagger here arrows. Uh, both bows are pretty much the same. The poundage, I think, is a little different on the bow. Amp Guard is 35 pound max. Uh, I forget what dag is. Is. Both have a half draw rule where if you're super close to someone, you can't full draw with your bow. Uh, but other than that, the main difference, you can shoot people in the face and dag and their arrows and dagger here are a little bit squishier than what they are in Amp Guard. So by far, this is the, the biggest difference between the two games to me. Amp Guard is set more like a DD and d setting or like a, an RPG game that you'll play on your computer. You're going to select a class. Those classes have different abilities, different levels. The more you play them, the, you level up, the more, the stronger you get. Uh, think like there are wizards and healers and scouts and assassins and warriors and all of these different pieces and different classes do different things in the game itself. So Amp Guard is a very class heavy game. There's a lot of yelling that's going on because a lot of spell incantations and spell balls flying. It it is a very magic heavy boffer game where dagger here on the other hand only has one spell and you can add different stuff in but mainly there's only one spell and that's a heal spell and there's there are no classes and in dagger here it is just fight 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 no classes at all so in general the games are pretty similar uh, you'll get like capture the flag on both games you'll get capture the point you'll get what we call node capture pretty much anything you find in halo or call of duty you can put into the battle game for both games the difference is in amp guard it's much more skirmish heavy uh, you have a lot of classes that are trying to counter one another and go back and forth that way where in dagger here it's a lot more heavy on the line fighting uh, you'll get bigger lines with people that will line up and they'll fight and then one person dies and then the, the other line forces through and it goes back and forth and it's more it looks more like a traditional uh, battle of what you, we see in movies oftentimes it's because there's no magic you don't have the wizard blowing up the line and killing three people or whatever um, and so amp guard tends to be more small groups based on your class and who can what class can counter other classes where dagger here is going to be more in your face line fighting uh, no magic whatsoever 
pretty much the biggest difference between the two games, that right there.